the three of us are gonna cook some fried rice for you to judge. Tell us about your journey as a chef. When I first came to the States in 1989, first it was just a job in a Chinese restaurant. Back then, Chinese food to go was very hot. It was busy. I didn't have a car, but some of the other boys, when they have a car, tips a night is like a hundred bucks. This is 1990. That's a lot of money. I was in high school and I needed a job. I worked from 3.30 to 10 o'clock, $25. When I show up, I get to eat. Before I leave, I get to eat. So I didn't have to pay for my meals. And you know, I was 17 years old. So that really helped me because you're always hungry at 17. Then I pick up a job at a seafood restaurant and <laughs> the owner made a position. He called it a half and half. I would be the busser and the dishwasher at the same time. So I was probably the highest paying dishwasher in the area because I actually got tips. In the seafood restaurant, I helped cook. So I would do the pasta station, pick up linguine, fettuccine alfredo, shark oysters, play dessert. But that also made me want to work in a Western style restaurant because man, who doesn't love fettuccine alfredo and New York cheesecake, raw oysters. How old were you at the time? I was uh, 17. When I turned 18, I worked at La Folie. I walked in and I said, hey, Chef Roland, can I work here for free? I won't be in the way. And if you didn't like me, I would just go home. And he said, okay, come Monday. And I started March 1st, 1993. I worked for three months for free and then he gave me a job. When did you start your love for cooking? It was a cultivation of things that I saw in chef's eyes when they made something to their craft and they were so into it. And to me, it was very attractive. I think to this day, I think anyone that finds someone that's really into their craft, they find them very sexy. <laughs> I love my dad. He's awesome. And then I opened my own restaurant called Isa. Then I sold the restaurant to be with my kids so I could cook at home, cook fried rice at home. No cry. Today we'll be making fried rice for our chef dad, who is currently banished to his room right now because we can't reveal who's making which dish. We have the same upbringing, so we're gonna see who makes the best for our dad. These are our ingredients. <laughs> Our dad is from Taiwan. Our mom's from Hong Kong. You have a mix of these ingredients. <laughs> Comment right now who's gonna win. We all have the same ingredients but different styles of cooking it. So we're gonna see who our dad taught the best. Okay, should we do a timer? 20 minutes or 20 30. minutes? 30. 30? Okay. What? That's okay, impossible. Okay, we a timer. What? Yo, you can't have wait, a Wait, we're you, man. Wait, I'm gonna get this cutting board. Wait, wait, we have to do this in an orderly fashion. It has to be balanced. I'll take the scissors. <laughs> you're gonna use the scissors? I'm using crab. I'm using these ones. I look at you using hot dog. No, I have shrimp. No, he has shrimp. You're gonna make lock churn, crab fried rice? Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, 20 minutes? That's how you know Chris is not gonna do well because he has butter in his hand. Garlic, butter, crab, rice. How am I gonna lose? Why is it so hard to kill shrimp? Making lobster crab fried rice. Yes. Lucas made a mistake in picking those prawns because these are tiger prawns. What are these then? <laughs> no, it's not fair. You want to go buy these. It's not about the size of the knife. It's about how you use it. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> My garlic's looking ugly because he gave me a shitty knife. Wait, why are you tiny knife? With how much time? 16 minutes. What? <laughs> Wait, that's the 20 minute timer, so it's only been four. Dude, I don't think I can cut green onion finally with this. I'll let you borrow my knife if you cut me green onion. Jesus, be safe. Bro, I don't think crab and lobster go well. It's called a surf and turf fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> Mine Sidong Sichang style. Ah, dude. Then you need cabbage. Oh, f. <laughs> oh, never mind. Honestly, cabbage. we should all be recreating the entire phones from fried rice. You just throw this off. This will prove that Lucas only knows how to make steak. F you. <laughs> it's all about the art of the rock when it comes mm. to Chinese food. I chose the best green onion. The small ass knife. Alright, I can't use this, guys. Dude, this didn't even cut through. They're giving me the knife, but it don't matter. I can still chop it finely. You see, Lucas is being all 
flashy, chopping fast, but this green onion for sure isn't the same size like mine are. There should never be competition between siblings. 10 minutes. What? <laughs> we haven't even started the heat. Maybe if everyone's using garlic, I should not use garlic. Wait, do we have to finish the fried rice in 10 minutes? No, we that's a that's a 10 minute countdown timer. <laughs> You guys are so screwed. The key here is leftover rice. Screw all y'all. I'm gonna get started. The lap churn is, I'm gonna start to get the fat from the lap churn. Isn't that a good idea, mommy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't know I have a secret ingredient. I'm hiding it. That's my secret ingredient. Jokes on them, when I watched dad make fried rice, I asked if I should it's add chicken like, bouillon, like, and he like. said no. We have five minutes. Five minutes? Aya! Sayla! Who turned off my wand? <laughs> <laughs> Move. You see all the lobstering oil? This is gonna help me win this thing. Oh, shit, it's burning. <laughs> Why is Isabel so fast? I don't have rice in my. <laughs> see, why would they put the garlic first? They don't want it to burn, okay? It's not gonna burn. You need to put the aromatics first, you guys. I'm trying to help you. Why are you doing the rice first? <laughs> also, green onions last because it cooks so fast. They don't know what they're doing. What are they doing? Session. No, we don't. It's been 20 minutes only. Oh, that's 10 minutes left? Nine minutes, nine minutes, nine minutes. I'm chilling. Well, Dad told me you can only use egg whites with crab fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> why did you tell me earlier? Because why am I telling that? I really don't want to burn you, though. Well. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I run out of time, guys. Five minutes. <laughs> Why the f is that still on? <laughs> <laughs> she was cooking it. She's like <laughs> looking at the fire. I need the rice. All right, that's kind of fire. Yeah, put water in your fried rice, mommy. <laughs> Mom, do you put water in fried rice sometimes? Yes. This soy sauce is the best soy sauce because there's seafood flavor. Yeah. Come on. It's like three minutes left. Time to crank up the heat. You don't look like that now. Why is this looking pretty good? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I added too much fucking soy sauce. Where's the white pepper? For real, like, can I have it, please? <laughs> yeah. 
Where's the sugar, dude? Can you guys put back? Show it. You lady losers. <laughs> One minute. One minute. <laughs> yeah. So much for everybody saying I have no time management. <laughs> 40 seconds. What? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> I feel like it's very fitting for me to cook it like this. Should we try each other? Wait, we should try because now or at the end? I don't have any more left, it's just here. Lucas, you can't try before you give it. Bro, I'm hungry. Oh, no. She put way too much shit in there, bro. Bro, it's hella good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the heck? I'm Isabel. I'm Lucas. I'm Chris. My favorite dish to cook is poke. <laughs> <laughs> With guacamole. Guacapoke. Don't even cook poke. <laughs> my favorite dish to cook is probably <laughs> steak. I make it like all the time for my friends. My favorite dish to cook is beef tartare. I like raw beef. Today I made a shrimp fried rice with tiger shrimp and I cut them into bite sizes. I also thinly sliced my green onion, added lots of garlic, a little bit of mushroom bouillon because I didn't have chicken bouillon. I added a little bit of sugar, a little bit of chicken broth, lots of black pepper, and some salt, and butter. Those are my ingredients. And soy sauce, of course, but two kinds, so it's seafood and dark soy sauce. I made a shrimp fried rice, and uh, I basically did what she did, but I made it with uh, a wok, <laughs> and I fried the egg. I forgot everything I did. I used white pepper, pepper, salt, green onions, garlic, tiger shrimp, and leftover rice. So I made my interpretation of a surf and turf uh, fried rice. I started with hot pan and threw the uh, lop trout, which is also called Chinese sausage into the pan and then extracted the oil then fried my rice and egg in there and then also seared some crab dungeness crab legs that was the surf aspect my surf and turf of fried rice and then i combined it all i think mine sticks out who do you think is gonna win me <laughs> has to be has to be no my way. dad made fried rice a week ago and i did exactly <laughs> what he did I don't know, I tasted Isabel's and it was salty. It looked really dark. Too much sauce. That's just my opinion. I tried it too. It was not bad. Isabel's looked like fried sodium. I was looking at Chris's and, well, he did kind of save me because I cooked the egg and the rice first and forgot to cook my shrimp. So after I took it out, but I think he might win with, after cooking his um, fried rice with lop chiron fat. You never know. And butter. I think the key I'm gonna win. <clears throat> is butter. We have a pair, three fried rice for you. All right, ignore the mess. Okay. Jeez. Obviously, Yanya is gonna try it with me. Oh, is that yours? Can I get a napkin, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so three fried rice, two with shrimp, one with crab. Wow. Right off the bat, some really big portions, very appropriate portions here, but with a lot of soy sauce. <laughs> This one, a lot of portion, eggs don't seem to be fried. The crab one seems to be fried in butter and there's Chinese sausages. Okay, that's the appearance. Here's the smell. All right, a lot of pepper, not too much crab, not too much rice. This one smells like uh, green onions. Not too much of that wok, that rice fragrant. All right, maybe I should start with this one first. Mmm. Although it looks dark, but the rice is velvety. They're all kind of in the same family. I thought you guys would do one do a kimchi fried rice, one would do a... Oh, one has lap chow. <laughs> That's a good fried rice. That's a very good one. Nice and moist, not too salty, good portion. This one looks like someone that's always really hungry made this because it's a huge portion. The eggs need seasoning. 
It's a very homey green onion smell didn't come out. But you're supposed to hot oil, hot egg, green onion half in and half at the end. So that green onion fry with the oil comes out and fragrant. But homey, very good. That one still kicks ass so far. Here comes the crab one with sausage. Mmm. I really wanted to feel some crab inside the rice though. Inside the rice is just sausage. The crab is basically a garnish. So it's kind of like it promised something that it did not deliver. Sausage overpowered it. Overall, all very good fried rices. I would pay for all of them. How much would you pay for each of them? Well, the crab one definitely, you know, like 25 bucks because it's crab and it's a good portion, very well made. This one, $16 because it's got good shrimp on it, good portion. This one, money maker, you still make 12 bucks, but half the size, but more for a gourmand taste. The appearance really gives it gives it away though. It's got, it seems to be very soy saucy, but it's not overly soy sauced. And it's a, this very velvety, moist taste. But the common mistake, always when you make your fried rice, put oil and scramble your eggs, green onion, and then fry that egg to bring out all that flavor of the egg and then put your rice so your egg fragrant the rice i think lucas made this i thought isabel made this i thought chris made this give this fried rice some love <laughs> did you make that which one's your favorite <laughs> the winner i thought so I thought I was right. <laughs> Rate them all. Give them all a number. Uh, Lucas's is a eight. Yours is an eight and a half. Belle's is nine. I ain't mad about it. How do you guys feel? I think you guys it's bullied rigged. me. It's rigged. Obviously, my dad heard the reactions that my sister had when he was rating the first one, so he let her win. No, I actually think dad was completely unbiased. That yeah, because Gaga literally tried to tell dad that mine was this lot churn one, so dad kept eating it to try to give me a chance, but it wasn't one. <laughs> uh, I was never in the race. Honestly, I took a bigger risk today, but it was fun. It was a fun challenge. Let us know what we should cook next. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>